Good one today is Monday, August 22nd, 2022, jump date for Tuesday, 23rd. All right, let's go. Well, as far as official setups, I really thought I'd have a lot more to get excited about tonight. Going through my scans, there were a plethora, as you would imagine, of pullbacks, but I kept whittling them down, and I was really only left with uh, these few here. Anyway... Stick with Iran. I like that one the best out of all of them. Of course, wait for an entry, obviously. ARLP make a new high id here. So I'm going to go ahead and bump the stop on that. We'll take a look at that to end just one second. Not a whole lot else to get excited about tonight. Again, just still a few or quite a few pullbacks, but not many as, as I thought they would be. As far as official setups, let's stick with this Iran. It has a little overhead supply, about 14. But if it gets 14, I'll be pretty happy. <laughs> it does look pretty good, though. Now it's a Landry Light pullback and uh, first thrust, cup and handle, bow tie. You name it. It's pretty much it. I think it's a good-looking setup. So let's just stick with that for now. There's a few other ones in here, as you can see. But I think that's probably the best one. This one's a little kind of crazy in here. Super high HV and can be a little uh, squirrely at times. So let's stick with the I-R-E-N for now. Let's take a look at the portfolio, and then let's pop out to the overall market. ARLP, banging out new highs with a little bit of vigor. vigor uh, Multi-year highs, not all-time highs. Maybe we'll get there. Oh, wait a minute. We're getting there. <laughs> not too far away, maybe on a closing basis. But we're going to go ahead and sit your stop on that one. So far, so good. It's kind of nice. I know not everybody's been with me forever. But it is kind of nice when you got a longer-term winner like that, smoothing out some of the bumps that are inevitable. E, M, B, C, down a little in here. Not a whole lot to write home about that one. But so far, it still looks like it has potential. Still looks like a big-picture bottom is in place. And pretty impressive day kind of hanging in there, especially for a more volatile stock in spite of the markets. Verve spent a lot of its day in the, in the plus column before it ended in the minus column. Obviously, on your stops just in case. But longer term, it still looks okay. And here, let's take a look at the overall market, and then let's drill down to some sector action. First of all, the P's down a couple of percent. They gap lower. Let's take a look at the spiders. They gap lower and did not opening gap reverse or anything like that, obviously. So that's a bit of a bummer. You can see it looks like the spiders are on its way down to the 30 EMA. Ditto for the S&P 500. Not the end of the world, obviously, but it has to stop somewhere. Another big down day like that would be very, very, very concerning. But so far, just correcting from that overbought condition. We knew it was coming. We just didn't know how big and how far. And this NASDAQ is pretty ugly. Look at that, down 2.5%, all the way down to its 30. So, so far, just pulling back to its 30. But additional weakness, obviously, again, like the P's, would be of concern. Ditto for the Rusty, Rusty 2000, down about 2%, as you can see. Energy's actually kind of hung in there, slightly higher after dipping lower. Let's take a look at some other areas though. Most other areas sort of look like the market itself. Not a tremendous amount to report there. But you can see a lot of these areas, transports that have been rallying as of late, got hit fairly hard today. You can go through pretty much all of these if you have time and take a look at them. And most of them look a lot like that. Software, another example. Although software looks pretty good compared to the market. Not a huge gap there. Let's take a look at the semis real quick. Simis broke down below that 30 EMA, so that's a bit of a bummer. I like to see the semis get back above their 30 EMA, obviously. So that's certainly not a good thing. Let's take a look at retail real quick. Retail sold off fairly hard, too, all the way back to its 30, but kind of hanging in there. So most areas looking okay in here. You know the routine. Here it comes one day at a time. Any questions, shoot me an email or bring it up at Facebook if it's not directly related to something on the Landry list. Everybody have a great night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much.